you know, well, I tell you what, no one's ever done as much as president as this administration is doing. Period. <laughs> Even Kamala Harris had to laugh at that statement from Joe Biden. No one has ever done as much as president as this administration is doing, period, says Joe Biden. And I agree with him. I agree nobody has done the things that Joe Biden and this administration has done. Notice he says president and this administration because he's not in charge. Let's start with the grocery shortage. We're having a chain supply shortage, uh, and we know that's because of the brilliant job that Joe Biden and Pete Buttigieg, or uh, Mr. Buttplug, is doing. He has no idea what he's doing with transportation, unless you're talking about transporting uh, something in the uh, anal area. Also, you have a 40-year high on gas prices. 40-year high on gas prices. Matter of fact, I believe it was in June that they reached the highest, June 2022, it was the highest gas prices has ever been in this country. Nobody has done what Joe Biden has done, and Kamala agrees by laughing at him. Well, I tell you what, no one's ever done as much as president as this administration is doing, period. <laughs> also, you have the disaster, the two trillion dollar tax hike because of the forced Green New Deal. That's what's going to destroy us faster than anything else because they're committed to pushing this green energy deal, this climate change, solar panel, green cars. That is going to be the destruction of America. Re mark my word on it. Also, we have uh, uh, that the Biden administration now is allowing Chevron oil to drill in Venezuela because as you know when Venezuela does drilling when you I mean sorry when Chevron drills in Venezuela do you recognize that that's a different earth no it's not the same earth that's like the third earth or something that Venezuela and uh, the Saudis drill in they don't drill on mother earth because it's acceptable to drill in Venezuela because uh, I believe it's close is located next to Mars and when the Saudis drill I guess is located next to Venus or Uranus. Uh, should we say Uranus? Also, we're sending, we sent over $60 million over to Ukraine, and that's working out just lovely. See, this is why I refer to Joe Biden as the walkaway president. Because whenever somebody's asking a question, and it's an unapproved question that the handlers have not approved, Joe Biden simply walks away. Walk away, Joe. I did that. Also, you have Afghanistan withdrawal that it caused 13 Americans to be murdered. Now, this all happened because uh, the Taliban decided to release a terrorist who just scurried over to the airport and blew up something. And uh, you know how we punished the Taliban for doing that? We left billion do billions of dollars worth of uh, military equipment over there. Billions of dollars. That's how... Joe Biden has done what no other particular president has ever done in the history of this country. Well, I tell you what, no one's ever done as much as president as this administration is doing, period. <laughs> he has destroyed more rights. He has done more to hurt the American people than any other president in the history of this world. Billions for the terrorists. The group of Taliban, I'm, I'm sure they're peaceful. They're going to give women's their rights back. What about the brilliant plan to groom kids? And now they want to outlaw you saying grooming kids, even though that's what they're doing. And by the way, they're pushing dangerous surgeries for kids, which is including amputating parts of healthy bodies and pushing also uh, these uh, hormone blockers for the children. Now, they won't tell you that the children are suffering under these particular programs. These programs are so dangerous that the, the suicide rate is up. Mental illness is up because of these dangerous programs uh, that the Biden administration has done. But he has done, uh, and this administration has done, uh, what no uh, other administration has done. I agree with them. Let's bring back in the border czar since she thinks everything's funny. <laughs> Uh, 
allowing illegal immigrants to flood across the borders, we have seen an increase in fentanyl death. I'm sure that's not the Joe Biden's fault. No, it's not. It's a right-wing group, I'm sure, responsible for this. Violent crimes also has increased under Joe Biden. That's right. They got new names for it. Instead of mugging, uh, they're actually calling it jugging. They wait for you to withdraw your money out of an ATM teller. They follow you home or either just beat the crap out of you in a parking lot and take your stuff. And if they happen to go in the store and run out with some, as long as it's under $900, uh, we will let you go free. Violent crime is up under Joe Biden. Mortgage rate hit a 15-year high under Joe Biden also. Investment investors have lost about $7.6 trillion since the Q card president has taken over. Walk away, Joe. Walk away. And we destroyed American all independence thanks to Joe Biden. Fantastic job. He's done what no other president and administration could ever do. Well, I tell you what, no one's ever done as much as president as this administration is doing. Period. <laughs> How about firing people who would not take this very, 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 very safe vaccination? And on top of that, he's weaponized the FBI, the DOG against Americans, which includes parents of, for school age uh, children. He's lied about his involvement and what Hunter, his crackhead son Hunter, has been doing. He said he didn't know what was going on. But the computer, the laptop from hell, says something different. Now, we've been in a recession for a while, but while in a recession, the Democrats wanted to, with the help of some Republicans, wanted to pass more spending, and that's just worked out quite lovely for the American people. He has done what no other president has ever done in history. Thank you, Joe Biden, for destroying the country. I'm sure our forefathers uh, and our grandparents would have just been willing to die for transgenderism, having your rights violated, giving Ukraine money, and having a, a complete open border while, uh, while allowing a bunch of freaks to run the White House. This is what your forefathers died for. This is what the ancestors died for, for this trash that we call now democracy.